While you were watching Samsung's new products live stream, you probably missed long distance haptic hellos, the robot mother, and get set for formula electric cars. Welcome to In Case You Missed It, where you will soon be able to say, one, two, three, four, I declare a haptic holographic thumb war. Japanese researchers made a haptic device allowing users to touch and interact with distant objects. The haptic clone first creates an optic field using aligned mirror arrays so you can see things placed in the device. Then it simulates touch with feedback to your hand when computer models of scanned objects collide. Researchers say you can share mid-air handshakes and high fives so you can be long distance rad. You killed it, bro. The esteemed scholars at Cambridge University have seen fit to make a robot that can make its own children because one of them apparently wants to be in the fire when the world burns. And after making kids, the mother robot then judges which of them is best, then uses the result to make the next generation. It's basically human evolution in robot form. These decisions are totally robot independent without human intervention or computer sims. So basically, the FIA's Formula E League starts up again this October for its second ever season. But instead of the roar of high octane engines you hear in Formula One or NASCAR, viewers will be treated to this. Which honestly sounds exactly like this. Also, today I watch cat videos for work. Artist Charles Young puts together 3D mini models of buildings every single day using watercolor paper and glue. And then he animates them with stop motion and they're beautiful. Now go create beautiful things. See you tomorrow.